The following bout is set in the XFN Flyweight Kickboxing Division and is brought to you by New Lifespan, set with three two-minute rounds of action. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, this kickboxer stands at five feet, four inches tall. He weighed in at 124.6 pounds. He enters this fight with an amateur kickboxing record of one win and zero losses and fighting at the Kyukiyama Fighting Gym in Miami, Florida. He is Leandro, just Leo, <laughs> Garen. He didn't get the memo. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This hybrid style fighter stands at five feet, seven inches tall. He weighed in at 124.6 pounds. He enters this fight with an amateur kickboxing record of three wins and zero losses and fighting out of the combat club and Florida Kickboxing Academy and Boca Raton, Florida. He is Ali, the hybrid. And now, is he the hybrid because he's a hybrid style fighter? Or is he a hybrid style fighter because he's the hybrid? Or maybe, maybe part of him's run on gas, part of him's run on battery. Could be. If you don't mind, don't matter. Don't know if we're up or not. Ali Ad versus Just Leo Garrett. Hmm? Yep. Round number one underway. Touch the gloves. Good double pump of that jab there and a leg kick from Abt. As I said, Abt has impressed before here at XFN. Leandro Guerin, yeah, just look at, the, look at those those level or those stance changes by Ab. Yeah. Nice. There he is. Switched again. Yeah. That was a little low, but and then look at that. Stepped right into that switch. Yeah. Good oh, hands there from Ab. Beautiful yeah. cross by by Ab. Yeah, and Guerin is going to the drawing board here, trying to figure out because Ab is pumping that jab so much, being the longer fighter. He's initiating the range. That one might have that, been a little bit low. That made a thunk. Yeah, that one was there. That made a thunk. Yeah, but he's back to his feet already. Um, so it's not going to be uh, life altering. Probably have to take him a minute. If I had one complaint, Sean, and it's not it's not something that we can fix, but uh, they're both wearing the yellow, both wearing the black, both uh, you know. It may, maybe, maybe, maybe in the future you can hear my voice. Bring two different uh, colored trunks just in case you guys can work out which ones you're going to fight in. Uh, white gloves, black gloves, I guess, make it easier for us. Garen in the white gloves, Ab in the black gloves. Other than that, the the, the trunks are kind of similar. Well, Touch the gloves, back on the action. There's those stance switches by Ab. Yeah. Now that's going to be something for Garen to think about. Now Garen is going to be worried about landing another low blow, and with Ab switching shots, uh, switching stances like that, uh, will Garen? That was a good, good body kick from another Garen. Body, yeah, beautiful. Yeah, but some good hands from Ab. A good head kick and a nice right hand off that head kick. One, two. Um, man, good footwork there. Yeah, staying busy with the feet there. Oh, nice oh, head kick from Ab. Block, blocked by Garen, but yeah. still. Yeah, but it's the speed and the technique that'll pay off in the later rounds for Abd. Boom, another one. No fear throwing it there. And now Garen's looking to score. Good for Garen. Sees a way in the door, decides to get in the kitchen a little bit. Yeah, a fighter like Abd who is using his range very, very effectively, Garen has to maximize every opportunity that he gets to do any kind of damage. Yeah, but I would oh, like to see Abd not come in as close. Right. Good knee to the body, though, on the way in from Ab. The corner of Garen calling for out and in. Try to take away the game plan of Ab. One round in the books and uh, a much different style fight than our first fight of the evening, but uh, the same same amount of action nonetheless. Yeah, a lot of action. Yeah. Beautiful leg kick. Yeah, good body kick there from Garen, but some good hands back and a good knee from Ab. Some of those feints and the, the stance switches and the stutter steps that you were referencing there are really keeping Garen kind of guessing and not uh, not firing. I, I, that's what I. That's the purpose. That, I, yeah, I was about to say. I would say that should be their design yeah. and their work, and it's working. It's freezing Garen in its spot. And when you're frozen, you're not throwing kicks. You're not throwing punches. That is correcto mundo, and that is basically what was happening there. Um, that's what was happening there. Ad was kind of freezing Garen up. 
And uh, when you're already on the outside of the range there, you need to get inside. When you get frozen up and you miss your opportunity, then you got to wait for another window to open. It can be frustrating. Let's see how Garen, uh, how Garen recuperates here and um, re-strategizes between rounds. I, I, I assume we're going to see some aggression out of Garen. I think so. The corner I know is calling for more face, so I draw something out of Ab to counter. Round number two starts off here. Second fight of the evening from the center. Cold Springs, Florida, XFN uh, 45. Oh, nice lateral uh, they're set up from Abs. And a nice little hip throw there from Garen. Just Leo. Man, that Ab is really good at using his range. Very good. And knowing his range, because that kick was perfect. He did not step in an extra inch. It's almost as if he trains with people like AC 10 pounds stuff. Who'd have thought? Oh. <laughs> right? Every, everything is set up by Ab. Yeah, nice little stab and sidekick there from Ab. Yeah. There's a feint, and then there's no feint. It's just a strike, and it's, he's very fast. Ab is very, very impressive. There's a good counter there from Garen. He drew something out. Again, Garen's got to be working to draw something out. He's making it dirty on the inside, and I'm okay with that, but he needs to be feigning from the outside to draw something to have to counter. Beautiful step in, stab kick. Man. Wow. Sprack attack uh, a la Cam McCarg there from Ali Ab. Yeah, Garen's not, Garen's not long at all. He's not, you, no. he's not throwing the, the, the jab out at all. He's not throwing any teeps at all. Yeah. If you're waiting to counter something, you need to draw something out to counter because right now he's just letting Ab set him up and just just snipe it from outside and then come in and do real damage. Just like that, nice little push kick on the way in, kept Abd off of him. But Abd also is keeping a very tough pace. So it's not just that Garen's having to deal with the distance and the accuracy and the crisp technique. It's a good pace from Abd here too that's kind of hard to keep up with. And he's always switching stance. I was about to say, three stance switches right there. Three stance switches, including a uh, a fainted stance switch. So he is really doing the bull dance, feeling the flow here, Sean. Yeah, you can tell he skips rope. Yeah. The corner of Ali Ab raising their hands as if they're cheering for him. No, nope, no, nope, no, nope. cheering for Chelsea Love. She will be tuned in a little bit later today whenever uh, Showtime Jimmy Washington gets into a, uh, a pretty uh, pretty tough fight, if we're being honest, with Danny Perez out of Evolution Mixed Martial Arts. Looking very forward to that coming up later for you right here on Flow Combat. Uh, XFN45, thanks for joining us worldwide on Flow Combat. Uh, P.S. Flow Combat, get at me. You know how to find me at ATT Blake. I should be calling more shows for you. I can call Flow I Grappling. Agree. I can call Flow Boxing. I can call Flow Combat. You could, you could probably call flow bowling. Ooh, I could. I could. And I would. Thank you. I could call flow bowling. I could, call, I could definitely call flow marching band. I could call flow gymnastics. Uh, it might not be very good, but I could, make it, I could be excited about it. I am an Auburn man, so I could ask uh, Suni Lee on Twitter. Round number three underway here, our second bout of the evening, XFN 45. Do, 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 stay tuned on Flow Combat. Don't forget to switch on over oh, those, to our those, th those side kicks that Ab throws are, are they put Garrett into the fence pretty hard. I'm, yeah, that's what the third time he's, he's kicked him from the center to the to the cage. Uh, maybe instead of the hybrid call, he's got the toolbox because he's got a uh, full one. His toolbox is overflowing. Ali Ab. Good head movement from Garen. I mean, nice nice catch. Nice catch of the kick and a good low kick there as well from Garen. It's just that the uh, the angles and the and the, the distance are from Ab are just and that pace. I mean Ab is looking very complete here. And as you said. Garen looking to counter a little bit too much and not oh. getting enough to counter. Yeah, it, it's it's like watching almost. I, I, I hate to make this analogy. Oh, beautiful counters uh, foot sweep there by yeah, Garen. I was about to, as I was about to say, it almost looks like a pro fighting an amateur. 
It does. And 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 you and I understand that you don't mean that to be insulting or disrespectful. Uh, I mean, Ali Abd has three documented official amateur kickboxing fights, tons of smoker experience, tons of experience as a, as a, as a so yeah, he has he has professional level experience under his belt. So that's not that's not an incorrect comparison to make if Leo Gar uh, Leo Garen yeah, is a I mean, year or two we, into this game. Yeah, we there's no telling how many fights Abd ha might have under his belt. Yeah, oh. I remember. Oh, nice, a good body kick from Garen, but answered right away. Uh, Ab unable to counter there. Oh, ref Ref's took one. Ref's got a chin on him. And that is that. Three rounds of very hard fought action. Uh, I mean, Ali Ab, I, I, and again, I don't mean to disparage Leo Garen, but was it the angles? Was it the distance? Was it the pace? Was it the technique? I'm going to say yes. And, I am going to say yes to yeah. all those. Any of those four factors within that fight could have been a deciding factor within the fight. But Ab controlled all four factors very well. And as you said, it looked like a guy that's been doing this for however long Ali has been doing this. I yeah, got to assume, I got to assume, however old he is, minus eight years. He looks like, he yeah. only looks like he's 20, 20 at the oldest. Yeah, so I got to assume he's got 12 years of competition experience under his belt. 15 maybe, I don't know. Uh, there's things that Ali Abd does that the only way to learn them is through repetitive competition. Yeah. And I'll leave it at that. So that was his fourth fight, making air quotes with it, but he certainly has dozens if not hundreds of experience bouts under his belt. And uh, Leo Garrett had a very big learning experience here. He, he's going to live to fight another day. He landed some good shots, but he needs to, uh, again, focus on drawing out shots to counter against a taller fighter like that who's yeah, taller and yeah, quicker. He, he should. I don't think you I don't think you wait to counter a taller fighter. I think you you rush, you meet him in the in the phone booth and put it, your work in where you can get it, which is close and personal. Yeah. But then again, I've never been in a kickboxing fight. So what do I know? I don't know. Other than what I've watched. Yeah, from other than what you said here. And as I've said many, many times, it's not uncommon to see boxers that have six, eight amateur fights in a weekend that you don't even know about. So, you know, again, who knows how much experience Ali has had. But we're going to make this official with Blake Chadwick, and I'm going to grab a word with the winner. I think I know who it's going to be. After three hard-fought rounds of action, we go to the judges' scores. All three judges saw this fight the same with a score of 30-27. Your winner, by unanimous decision, out of the red corner, Ali, the hybrid. And we are going to keep it moving. We do have a very, very stacked card this evening, but I just have to grab a word with Ali after that performance. Uh, good to have you back here in XFN. Again, I know you're a young guy, and that was supposedly your fourth fight, but you look like a guy that's got hundreds and hundreds of bouts under his belt, which I think is probably more accurate once you look at uh, gym experience, smoke experience, things like that. So, man, the total package. Great speed, great pace, great angles, great distance, great technique. What's next for Ali Ad? Because it doesn't get much better than that, my friend. Where's that 125 belt at? That's all I got to say. If that's all he's got to say, I ain't going to ask him anything else. He wants a 125-pound title shot, and after that performance, I don't think you can deny it. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the hybrid. He's the number one contender, in my opinion, Mr. Ali Ab. Yeah.